Hello and welcome to see Steve Thirty. This is lecture 20 and this is lesson 5. And in this lesson we're going to look at testing the little um, Node.js Express.js quotations uh, REST API service that we built in, over, the last, um, um, over the last few lessons. Okay. Remember we want to be able to deal with uh, the following routes okay. and we want to be able to handle and work with quotations. So how do we test this? Well, there are, you see me use curl already to be able to test and check something. So we can um, quickly go to curl and have a look and see, can we see if there are any um, quotations in the database? So I used curl here um, um, previously in this window here. And I'm going to now do a curl. And you know, in the break, I've managed to add and see that we have a quotation in the database, Luke, I am your father, from Darth Vader. So it's created there. And we can verify it's in the database by having a look at the, the MongoDB um, Mongo client. Um, and you see collections, and we see the quotation was created. And we'll have a look at and we see it's there. So what we find here as part of the REST API call is the same as this. Curl can be a bit, a bit messy when we want to be able to use for uploading, and it's fine for searching and looking and querying. But now let's look at two separate tools. So I'm going to use, and um, you can use Postman, which is um, a really nice tool, downloadable. Um, and like in setting up a GET request here, I'm sending my GET request, and I'm getting my response. And I see here's the response. And if I had more of them, more quotations, everything would be listed. It's just an array of JSON. Um, I currently like to use Insomnia, which is a really nice tool as well. And you can see that this is how I created it. I actually created this quotation. Um, um, but let's create a, a second quotation. And let's remove it here. And let's create our Emily Dickinson one that we had from earlier. So let's just copy and paste that from our, our document. And then and, uh, and we have our array. So it's nice. Okay, let's go to back to Insomnia. And this looks like it's okay. Okay, so let's now we're going to actually send it to quotations, which is our root. We're going to use the post HTTP request. We have we can use all of them here, okay, and we're choosing post, post, and um, I'm choosing a JSON body here, so I can specify as JSON, and I'm going to send this to the server and now you'll see that I got it back again with an ID, and I actually have um, uh, the created that and updated that um, uh, timestamps that I was interested in earlier. So we can search now. So let's do a GET request, and we're just going to look at the quotations and send this, and we see we have both of them. So we have we have some really nice um, we have some really nice updates, and we can check our we can check our service here. For, for MongoDB, and we'll see we now have the two objects. So we know we're actually updating the service. So using Insomnia or Postman um, as your RESTful client allows you to be able to do a whole bunch of tests and save them. So for example, you can see here's a bunch of tests. You can save all of these tests and and then as a session, and then you can then you know update your, your database, you can update your your schema, you can update your roots, all that stuff, and you can update how it works, and you can do all some tests then and, and save them and then be sure everything works as expected. Okay, so it's a nice way for, for, for testing. But let's look at some of the other routes that we've created. So one of the things I was interested in, let's delete one. Okay, so we need to delete one and we need to specify an ID. So let's delete Emily Dickinson's one. So we know this is the this is the ID. Okay. And let's um Delete, we use a delete request, quotations, and we needed to give it the actual ID. So I'm going to make this nine. I'm going to change it so we're not deleting the correct ID. And um, for this particular one, there is no body as part of the request. It, everything just happens as part of the, the URL. So I'm going to send this. And we couldn't find this ID. So this is the error we expected. So remember when you're testing, if you test for successes and test for failures, so you test for for to make sure your errors work as well. So we get this 404 return. So it didn't find the item that we're looking for. We know that should be delete. So let's just let's just uh, correct that and send. 
And so now we, the quotation was del deleted successfully. We can go back to our database and check, and we see that it's gone. Okay. Another thing we want to do is we want to be able to correct and update. So we use the put request in order to create. And then this has a body, and it's going to send it with JSON. And we're interested in the, the quotation, the, the, the Darth Vader quotation, because that was the one that was problematic. Okay. Because, of course, that's not the correct quotation. So the quotation um, should be no I not right. And it probably looks like it should be okay. So yeah, that looks okay. Um we now want to be able to update it um, but we need to be able to specify the actual ID. So let's look for the ID. Well we know the ID is here. We change that ID. Okay, and with a bit of luck, well, let's change it. We press send, and now we can see that we had updated that document. Okay, and um, I used the quotation, the full quotation, to use to, to, to update the author and the quotation, even though I really only needed to update the quotation itself. But I am. Um, and um, I just use that one. Okay, so this is nice because we can set up and uh, we can test the roots, we can test the HTTP verbs, we can test the content, we can look at the responses, we can save all of those, we can do, um, and then we can have our, our our data working here as well by by um, manipulating the database itself. Okay, um, and all in all, it gives us a nice way of testing. I do like this postman as well, and of course you can do the same with Insomnia, where we set up our little series of tests, and it works out just um, just well for repeated testing of a of an API that's been updated continuously. Okay. In other words, we often have an idea of what we expect in addition to what um, what is actually happening, and um, and it's a good thing to do. So I highly recommend. And um, curl is great for some things, but you know you really want to be starting using some professional level tools like Insomnia and Postman in order to be able to test your work. I have given the links to um, where you can download those um, uh, postman.com and something.west. And these are two good guides. Okay, so this has been a very quick 50 minute or so lesson uh, lecture on how to create a um, uh, uh, fully working RESTful API code for managing quotation statements. Okay. Um, We'll see next time how we might access this and consume the rest of the API using jQuery or, or Angular JS or some other way. Um, but for now, um, uh, the full code will be available. You can download and test and try it out. And, and it's a, it's a, it's the next natural extension to the work that you've been doing already. Thank you very much for watching.